This is an apple and I'm going to trade it into a car in the next eight hours. And because my friend here, Mr. Magic Bean, also needs a car, he agreed to compete against me to get one. But he will not start with an apple, he will start with an egg. An egg? I get, I get the egg, why? Yeah, you're an egg guy, right? You like eggs. What? No, who wants a raw egg? <laughs> That's not my problem. Good luck. Good luck. And see you in two hours. See ya. <laughs> Most of you know this challenge as the paperclip challenge, but in Germany we call this the apple and egg game. It's actually a pretty common thing. A lot of children play this in summer camp. The rules are simple. We have one working day, eight hours. The first one who trades into a car wins. And third, if we both don't have a car by the end of the day, the one with the less valuable item has to jump off the Oberbaumbrücke into the dirty Berlin River. I'm doing a challenge today and you need to trade an apple. Do you have anything to trade with? Wait a second, you found someone already? Well, they're looking. Oh my god, what yeah. is this? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Go! Are you interested in my broken part of the pen? Oh, there's no ink or anything. I can't, no. We got a whole pen. That's a whole pen. I would like to take this pen. Yeah. We can swap. Sure. Thank Thanks you. Eric. For the egg. Okay, well, have a good day. Have, have a, a good day too. What are you going to cook with that egg? Maybe an omelette? Okay, so we got a pen. Like, that's much better than an egg, is it? I mean, it's pretty similar. He said he's gonna make an omelette, so... We need to find people with backpacks, because they're more likely to have something with them. All right. I wondered if you had anything in your bag or something that you would like to trade for this beautiful pen. You know what? A USB, unused. There you go. It's just for you. Thank you I very much. <laughs> Thank you. That's so good. That's the second person I've talked to. First was the pen, and now this, it's a USB. I wonder how many gigabytes. It doesn't say. There's not many people in the park, so we are going to head into to the streets. Despite engaging with a dozen people, I found no takers for the Apple in exchange. I thought this is easier, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Old diaper. <laughs> <laughs> no, a used one. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to sell next. <laughs> <laughs> but after an hour of searching, I finally found someone willing to. Thank you very much. This is my first trade. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have a great oh, day. Yeah. We've got our first trade, guys. We've got some balloons. They're for sure more valuable than the apple. The apple was for free, basically. It's already open, but it's better than nothing, right? I'm doing a challenge where I'm trying. Ah, to... I'm sorry. Okay. No, no. Excuse me. Hi. I'm, I'm doing a challenge where I'm trying to trade items. Sorry. No worries. Thank, <laughs> thank, you, good for, luck. thank you for your help. <laughs> okay, so I started off and I was like, this egg is terrible. I'm gonna have to hold, like, hold an egg for like an hour until somebody is willing to trade it to me. But I got rid of the egg immediately. So I got this intense feeling of like, I'm gonna get a car, you know? And then when someone says no, you just feel like, that's it, like I'm, it's never gonna happen. So, do you need a USB stick for anything? Not really. Is that a bag of stuff? Look in here. There's loads of good going stuff. To the playground. Oh, you're going to? Oh no, it's your bag. <gasps> there was so much good stuff. So much good stuff in there. Okay, I got. Oh my god. Play cards. Whoa. Okay, thank you very good. much. It's, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So now we're in Bergman Keys, but it's pretty dead. It's a Sunday morning. We're shooting on a Sunday. Do you have anything to trade? I love it, but I'm actually in a rush. Yeah, I'll have everyone in a rush. Good luck, good luck. you? What have you got in your bag? Yeah. Nothing? Okay. No, but I don't I, have anything. There is uh, this flea market, yeah, yeah. right that way. Yeah, you can yeah. go there. I have a little bit of sand from, actually, that's from uh, south of France. Oh my god. That's like from Cap Ferré. Should I trade that? Like. You have to decide, my friend. I mean, it, what, sell it to me, sell it to me. What's the special significance? Well, I give you a little bit more. Yeah, I would take some more sand, yeah. As I said, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. maybe there's some dry, uh, dried oyster liquid yeah. on yeah. it. Yeah. If you count every little piece of sand with one oyster, so yes. you multiply by, let's say, two euro. Yes. So probably that's worth like a hundred euro. A hundred euro? Exactly. And this is like, you there's know, nothing. a few euros. That's crap. Oh my God, I'm going to do it then. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is priceless sand I've got here. Look at this. Some priceless sand from Cap Ferret. Beautiful. I'm not sure if that was a good trade for Mr. Magic Bean, but I had problems of my own. The happy birthday balloons, but I'm not happy. <laughs> Turns out, trading is kind of a hassle. Yeah, I had an apple before. I have some beans. Some beans? <laughs> Do we want the beans? <laughs> I just picked them up. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're, they're more valuable than. <laughs> you don't need them. I don't need them. Really? Oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you, man. Have a great day. Yeah, right. we're, we're trying to get a car at the end of the day. 
a car at the end of the day. Well, if you're lucky. We've got this to put into the shoes. It's a weird item to trade with. Can I ask you a question? Um, no, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> Those guys were looking at me weird because I had these things. Um, so maybe I hide them before I trade. This is the car we want to have at the end of the day. Yes, yes, yes. And my prediction was correct. Nobody wanted this shoe tree. Guys, we can sell this as an instrument. Time was running out until our first comparison meetup and I was still stuck with this weird item. I was wondering how far Mr. Magic Bean has come by now. I was sure he wasn't a lead. He said it was touched by Oasis, so if you calculate the value, it was like 100 euros, he said. Wow, I don't believe it on that value. Oh, so would you trade anything for this? Not really. Okay. <laughs> it's from Cap Ferret, one of the most beautiful places in the south of France. So I wondered if you had anything you would like to trade me for. Okay, so we take the, we take the sand and you get something else. Yeah. Like, we go to France. We take it with us. You could take it with us. And him. get it back. Yeah. Like if <laughs> I give you this for champagne. What is it? It's a champagne Yes, yeah, if cork. you have a bottle of champagne and yes. you open it and you don't drink it anymore, yes, you want yes. to stop it, you yes. put this inside ah, and then... Perfect! <laughs> okay! Thank you so, so much! I don't want to spill any peace, you know? My name is Anja. Yeah. Have a good challenge today! Thank yeah. you so much! Thank you so much! If my friend comes... I will give it to you. Don't <laughs> trade him anything. He gets the sand. Don't trade... <laughs> no, yeah, give him the sand. If my friend comes... Give him the sand and it say, oh, I have this beautiful sand. Friend. Okay, From his name is? Radical Living is his name. Yeah. Radical Living, yeah, yeah. okay. Sand wasn't such a bad idea, huh? Seems. Immediately got rid of it. Let's go. You Maybe you need one, you know? <laughs> to be honest? We, yeah. No. Maybe if it would have been something, some accessory costume related... Mm. Maybe. So maybe I'll find you later. Maybe. Nothing to trade. Do you drink no. champagne? No. What do you yeah. want? Oh my god, what do I want? Nobody's ever asked me that. What is this? I would take this. I would yeah. take this. Okay. Yeah, this. As you like. I can trade? I'll yes, take this sure. one. This yeah. is... Yeah, I gotta go find that lady who wanted... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can I take it? Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's cool. I definitely see that girl again. I was looking for you. Okay, like the condition is okay. Yeah, but it's new, new. It's new because you take whatever? Well, let's see. I'm, I'm pretty open. I took a handful of sand earlier. <laughs> so you clip it on? Yeah, you can be creative. You can make a braid, for example, and have like a long braid. Yeah. Right, let's do it. Go on then. Okay. There you are. Good. Nice surprise. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> That's beautiful hair. You can do whatever you want, she said. Instead of trading up and down like Mr. Magic Bean, my approach was up only. Do we want the jacket? Well, I feel like this is very hard to sell to yeah. people on the street. Let's take it. You can give it a try. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, it's my fourth trade today. We got a jacket. How do I look? Like you're dressed too warm. Fourth trade, yes. Well, it's nice to make some progress at least, you know. Even if it's just two euro more. Yeah. Your <laughs> hair literally is this exact color. Maybe you have something you would like to trade for this beautiful. I don't really think I have anything. You... I'm looking for someone to trade this hair. Yeah, Manolo, please. And I thought maybe you would want it. I don't know. Yeah. Or you can Show also me. wrap it. Wrap it. <laughs> wow. Okay, wrap. It's beautiful, man. It's really beautiful. Please. Nothing. Nothing. Sure? Sure. Okay, okay. Well, thank you very much. I don't know about this hair right now. And we've literally got 20 minutes till we see Radical Living, so I can't show up with this hair. Like, I can't. You can have one toilet roll. One toilet roll? Like, we need the other one. No, no, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna have to take both from you. That's the only way. I can't give an open toilet roll. I'm sorry, sir. That's, that's all I can do. That's all you can do? Yeah. One open toilet roll. That's all I can do. I can't do it. I'm sorry. What if we slightly Is open it and I give you like four times. sheets? Four sheets? I could give to you. We're seeing as I'm staying at my friend's house. Yeah. And, and he's coming back today. You've used all his toilet used all his toilet roll. No. Yeah. Can I get, a, if I get a couple napkins from this restaurant. And a one roll of toilet roll. Okay, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I tried, but I, I appreciate the need that you have. Thank you, sir.
So this is terrible. It's literally two now. So we're gonna have to go in with the hair. I'm gonna look like a failure. Why did I take the hair? It's time for the showdown. It's been two hours and Mr. Magic Bean is almost here. Show me what you got. How's it going? How was the, the trading? You know, uh, it was pretty good. I'm not too confident. No, what do you have? I mean, I was kind of thinking... Uh, what? <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a huge hair extension. I've got a jacket. Oh, a jacket. What? That's such a nice jacket. It looks new. I think it's like burden jacket. You know? Yeah, yeah. Is it real hair or is it um, fake? I mean, I think it looks, it's fake. It looks but... fake. <laughs> it smells fake. Yeah, it's yeah. fake. This is more valuable then. I would say, like, I don't know about more valuable, but... I don't know about more valuable. For the next two hours, we're going to switch things up. I made four uh, papers with different districts around here, so we don't have to stay in the same area. It's Steglitz. Oh my Steglitz? God, that's far. I have Mariendorf. Mariendorf. Oh yeah. my god. I've never wow. been to Mariendorf. Rich older Germans live in Steglitz, don't they? Or? Yeah. I'm gonna have some big money there, but it might be a bit challenging. Actually, I, that's the one I wanted to draw. Yeah. Because there's a lot of rich people there. Damn it! Any last words? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Mariendorf now and I checked there's a flea market. I think that's a good strategy. In a flea market there's a lot of stuff and people are willing to trade up at you. Willst du irgendwas tauschen? Oh, ich will viele Sachen loswerden, ist nicht böse gemeint. Ich wollte mal fragen, wir machen heute eine Challenge. Das hier? Oder das? Wie aus, ja. Rabi? Ja? Ja, okay. Okay. Vielen Dank. If you're playing a game like that, it's sometimes hard to know the market value of these items. But I was very pleased with my new ride. Look what I've got. I'm quicker now. That's even like better. Okay, so here we are in Steglitz. I think I need to come up with a better plan. I've been just running around. No more down trading. I got to be a lot more critical with my assessment of whether I should take the trade. Another thing I brought with me got this pen. I'm thinking I need to find a bit of cardboard. I'm just going to write a big sign and go in a very busy intersection and try to just get people's attention with a sign. That's my new plan. I basically just really don't want to end up in the river. Trading hair? <laughs> Trading hair? This is the worst idea I've ever had in my life. We're going for the shock factor. People are going to be like, what? Trading hair? Okay. And then we just want to get rid of the chair, the hair, that's it. Just get rid of the hair, move on, move on to something better. All right, let's go to the mall. I've just realized the mall, it's, it's Sunday. Everything's shut, it's Sunday. This is a disaster. Jesus. They're super expensive, 400 euro. I mean, they're used, but still. Those things are worth 200 euro at least. <laughs> We're gonna beat Mr. Magic Bean. How did he do such a bad job on the flea market? I don't understand. You're trading hair? You have great hair, sir. Thank Thanks. Do you have something to trade for this hair? Uh, we're currently on our way to the gym. But... Yeah. What have you got uh, in there? What, <laughs> what, what about a, a lighter? Hi, sir. Do you want to join in? Are you like a, a salesman of sort? Well, no. I'm, I'm, this is my first day on the job. I mean, you got to be an influencer of some sort. People... I'm trying to influence you to buy this hair. Sounds like a good book. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's not for not for trade. I was in uh, Bergman Keats. And there's all these hippies around and they're like, oh, I'll trade an egg, you know? And then now I'm come to Stegas with this hair and I was asking these old grandmas and they were like, no, no. Is it like don't, real? Don't talk to me. The security guy is looking at me. Hi. Hey. I think we've got to leave, like, I don't. You should have taken the lighter. Why didn't I take that lighter? Where did those guys go? Hey, excuse me, guys. Thank you, Thank so, you much so much. Thanks for the trade. Seems like Mr. Magic Bean didn't follow through with his new strategy of no down trading. I, on the other hand, was struggling with a different kind of problem. We should have come earlier to the flea market. This is like a gold mine. We're unfortunately very late. Look, the stands are already closing. Let's get some more trades in. Huh? What could I trade for that was more valuable than the ski boots on a flea market? There wasn't much. 
it seemed like it was time for a new strategy. I figured people on the streets wouldn't have anything better to trade for the ski boots, but people in houses have. So I decided to ring some bells. Tausche Sachen und ich habe diese Boots ertauscht und wollte sie fragen, ob sie irgendwie äh, was zum Tauschen hätten. Tauschen. Aber vielleicht habt ihr irgendwas, was ihr eh wegschmeißen wollt. Das ist ein bisschen. Nein. Okay, alles klar. Äh, das orange Häuschen, die machen auch Trödel vor der Tür. Die Nein. tauschen vielleicht, weil die haben eine ganze Garage voll Zeug. Also, vielleicht für irgendwas haben. Ja. He gave us a tip. The orange house might be willing to trade. Hello? Yes, hello. Are you interested in trading some boots with me? No, thank you. No? How about a NordVPN subscription, the sponsor of today's video? What's that? What? You don't know? It's only the best VPN client out there. And how do I know that you're not trying to scam me? It's quite the opposite, Mrs. NordVPN is trying to protect you from online threats. And how do they do that? Well, firstly, by encrypting your traffic, so nobody can watch what you're doing online. And secondly, they have this feature called threat protection that protects you from a whole variety of cybersecurity attacks. Like what? Well, things like phishing, malvertising, man-in-the-middle attacks, ransomware, things like that. Well, that sounds nice. Can I share it with my partner? Of course, you can use it on up to six devices. I even have it on my phone. You wanna see? And how much does it cost? Not more than a cup of coffee would cost you. Oh, so cheap. Where can I get it? Just go to nordvpn.com slash radical living and check out all the details, okay? And what if I don't like it? That's also okay. It's risk-free. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Just try it out. Okay, I will try it out. Amazing. Have a good day. And with my first sale in the books, it was already time to check in with Mr. Magic Bean again. Hey, Mr. Magic Bean. Oh, Radical Living, how's, how's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay, how's it going? What did you get? I huh? mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. It's not going good for you? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you with right now? What's to, your item? You, uh, I mean, I've traded back down because I had to get rid of the hair. I've literally just traded for a lighter. No way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a disaster. You it down. I had to because... Nobody wanted the hair. What did well, you do? How's it going? Well, I went to the flea market, but it was already closing. Yeah. But I managed to get some uh, skiing boots. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> They're both like I checked online. They're at least like two, three hundred euros. No. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm I'm going in that river. I can feel it. Unless some <laughs> magic happens. <laughs> he traded back down. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. We have two more hours. Let's see. All right. Enough of this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so now we're here at Nollendorf Platz in Schöneberg and I was hoping there would be a market on. I don't know why I didn't Google it earlier. But yeah, hopefully people are a bit more open here. I mean, I've just got a lighter. It should be easy enough. So let's see who we can find. I trade you a lighter for a tarot reading voucher. So this is a voucher for one uh, free tarot reading. Okay. Thank you very much. There you go. I try to stay in the present moment. Yeah, yeah. You have to concentrate on your heart. Your heart will guide you. To make the decision. Yeah, then you will simply know. No, okay, good. Well, there it is. We've got this. One tarot reading by Yasmin. I think this has quite a lot of value. You could, you could know some stuff about your future with this. Much better than a lighter. It's a free tarot reading from Yasmin. I don't believe in that kind of shit, okay. but... Um, I can offer you a, a Pokemon card. Oh, that's quite good. Slowpoke? Oh my god, a slowpoke. A, a slowpoke. Your golf. Nothing else of higher value, maybe your watch or your sunglasses. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to find someone who is looking like super hippie. I need, a, I need an intense hippie who is like blown away by this. Um, I already have access to free tarot readings, actually. Yeah. The loser has to jump off a bridge into the spree. So Which I'm... might also add something to your life. What about the shame of horrifically losing? Your no race? one can make you feel ashamed, except really for you. Well, I feel ashamed right now. And while Mr. Magic Bean was gathering the wisdom of the world, I was still trying to find a taker for my skiing boots. I could give you a sportgerät, but... What was that for one? So a so stepper. A stepper? But it's very difficult. I don't think I can carry that. Also, should we take it? Irgendwas, was ich schon längst wegschmeißen wollten. Ein altes ein Auto, ein Fahrrad, ein altes ein Laptop. He's going inside and asking. Maybe they need them. He asked for the size. Let's see what size they are. I don't know what's 270. Maybe they fit. Oh, oh yeah, it's too small. It's for a woman. 
or children, not sure. <sighs> I gotta be honest, I thought it will be easier at the houses to trade stuff because people have so much at home. But nobody wants these boots. You want some boots? Do they fit? After an hour of ringing bells and making no progress, I felt like the worst salesman in history. Or was that Mr. Magic Bean? Stopping for a quick ice cream break. I've still got the tarot. Uh, I'm struggling here. I'll be honest, I'm struggling. I feel like I'm going in that river. I just talked to a guy off camera who said he's come from this kind of art exhibition-y like marketplace. He said there should be a bunch of people, the kind of people who might be interested. So let's see. Oh, and we've got half an hour until I'm supposed to meet Radical Living. So not looking great. Let's see. We got a secret tip again. Those guys apparently do ski. So maybe we are lucky. Do you have maybe something old like that you already wanted to get rid of for a long time? You know? A lot of stuff to get rid of. A lot of a uh, laptop or whatever. A like. laptop? No, I don't have a laptop. Like it needs to be a little bit more valuable than this. How much are these worth? Wow, what? Yeah. What? That's crazy. Whoa, we're getting a laptop. I can't believe it. What? It's an old one. But is it still working kind of like you can it turn it on? And yeah, 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 you can turn it on. Is it charged? No. We got a laptop. Can't believe it. We have an HP Pavilion X360 convertible. Let's check how much that is worth, yeah? This thing goes for 700 euro? This is a jackpot. We're gonna get the car now. Yes, I can feel it. Yeah. Car is coming. Meanwhile, on the arts market, Mr. Magic Bean was still trying his luck. I met this lovely artist and uh, he seems very interested in tarot. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I'm an occultist, well, completely. This is, you're just the person I've been looking for. I want a tarot reading. Okay, yeah. yeah. What would you trade for me? Because I need to be traded something. A drawing? Oh my God, I would love to trade a drawing. A zine? I was already drawn to this. Oh, yeah. oh nice, oh great, yeah, it's beautiful. And it's a one-off drawing by Tor Paul That's from Los right. Angeles. Ten euros. It's priceless. Look, it's priceless. Thank you very Don't much. Shame, darling. He's traded me a priceless piece of art right here. I'm so happy. Everything is turned around. I'm very pleased with this. A priceless drawing. I I I, I was completely at rock bottom and couldn't find anything, and then. I don't know, this has just completely changed my day, so I, I'm excited to see what Radical Living says about it. Mr. Magic Bean, what do you got? Okay, I was having a bit, a very difficult time. I feel like I've done a last minute uh, yeah. amazing trade. An so amazing trade, what is it? I've got a priceless, one of a kind art piece. A one of a kind? <laughs> <laughs> is, what, is that the guy we saw recently in the park? <laughs> you remember? Oh yeah. How much is that worth for this? Uh, I think it's priceless. It's it was priceless. one of a kind. He's here just for the weekend. He's from LA. He's I called Tor Paul. Okay, and he's okay. famous in LA. Okay. He's famous in LA. Okay. He's famous in LA. Is he? Is he? I think still mine is worth more. Oh my god! <laughs> I've got a laptop. What? The new price is like 700 euro or 800. We don't know exactly. Oh. And it still works. We tried. There's like two keypads are not working, but that's it. The sun is setting in one and a half hours, and we need about like 40 minutes to get to the bridge. So I would say we have 40 minutes to reach there, and maybe a wonder happens on the way, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna race there in the motorbike and try to talk to some people in Kreuzberg before you get there. Okay, okay. So, I'll see you there. Yeah, nice. Okay. Cool picture. We still had a good 30 minutes and I didn't want to leave any chances on the table. While checking eBay classifieds, I realized getting a car was still possible today. After all, there's cars listed on eBay worth less than the laptop. I just wrote them a message for this cabrio. It's worth 650 euro. They didn't have a number, but maybe they will reply. So I've raced to Oberbaumbrücke. I'm definitely here before Radical Living. I'm happy with what I got, to be honest. I'm gonna make a quick sign, see if anyone else wants to trade something really valuable, like a car. Otherwise, I'm sticking with this, and fingers crossed it's worth something. <laughs> and hopefully he's not gonna to manage to get a car in that space of time. Are you interested in some art, sir? Some art for you, sir? Some art? So earlier I felt like an absolute loser when I had to sign. If you have a sign, people just don't even wanna interact with you. But now I'm feeling confident. I've traded up something I'm proud of. So actually I'm having fun. No, no, no attachment to outcome, you know, whatever happens. We messaged three cars that are on sale because there was no number, but there's one car that costs 250 euro and there's a number. Let's see if they want this. 
Ah, they don't pick up. Now we need to go to the bridge because Mr. Magic Bean has to get wet, right? How's the training going? Yeah, I mean, you're still with the picture, I see. This is my last attempt. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm you're, you're desperate, man. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I'm just, you know, people have been talking to me, I promise. I guess I'm going in. Yeah. How do you feel about jumping? I'm like, to be honest, I was like, oh, maybe it's actually okay. And now I'm here. I'm terrified. Yeah, the water is pretty dirty. I can't believe how dirty it is. I was not expecting that. Yeah, it looks like nuclear waste or something. Yeah. This is the result of a day's work. This jump is dedicated to Paul Gellerman, the artist in question. All right, let's do it then, huh? Let's do it. Are you ready to jump? I'm ready. My heart's beating. Ready? This is it. This is it, guys. Three, two, one. He's gonna do it. <laughs> you should have closed your mouth. Bro, Disgusting. he got Is picked up by a boat, what? In the last eight hours, we interacted with hundreds of people and experienced some kindness that goes way beyond our initial expectations. It turns out people are surprisingly cool and open to making deals. Just imagine what a whole week of this could bring you. I guess there's only one way to find out. Wow, I got saved by those guys. Thank you. <laughs> Whew. Pretty fresh. I feel like I've won <laughs> something. You're the hero I, of the day for sure. I don't know if I've won my dignity, but... <laughs> there you go. What's the next challenge? When do I get to get you jumping off somewhere? Well, we need to think of that. Any suggestions? Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Bye.